for joining. Going to Spanibus in a few hours. Holy shit, can't believe it, dude. Special edition of GW Smoke Break Live because we'll be in the air tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific. So again, thanks for tuning in, guys. Got some Rebel Ground to smoke on. And coming on from the phone, dude, just because uh got all the cables like uh, already packed up and ready to go for the computer setup. So once again, right here in San Jose, California, get ready to go to Spain. Can't believe that uh, it's coming, coming to be, you know, it's a fucking true story. And uh, what's also cool, what's up, Dirty? What's up, my brother? Yeah. Doing it from the cell phone, bro. All the cables are... Uh, Fucking accounted for and packed up, you know what I'm saying? But hold on a sec. There we go. There we go. Yep, leaving tonight, 8.45. Thank you for tuning in, brother. Want to get some smoke in real quick before we head on out. And uh, going to do that with some Rebel Ground, you know? Going to be leaving right around, I'd say, 4.30 or so to, to get out to Rolf's, like I was saying. He's packing up. He's got. A, he's had a, He's had a lot of shit to handle. Uh, work-wise before he gets out. Yeah, what's up, dog? Hell yeah, chief, and right on, dirty. Got some Rebel cookies, and then I got all kinds of cool jars to share with you guys, you know? All kinds of cool shit from Trinity County, Mendo, Humboldt. Let's do it up, you know? My shit's packed, too, so I put away my knife for the hash hits. Um, maybe I'd get an alternative, you know, but it's kind of easier to pull down some flour for the show. I've got to cough and hack my brains out. Uh, but how you guys doing, you know? It's a beautiful day, dude. From California to Spain, we're going to keep it fucking moving. We're already connecting with the right people. And my goal is by the time we touch down to have a complete itinerary so that we fucking, you know, really make the most out of the time that we have. We're not just fucking off. And uh, it's going to be special. Uh, it's going to be like totally new experience for us, you know? Seed popping. What you popping? Dirty. What you popping? Playa? Yeah. Snow Melty. That's the name of the strain. So again, dude, just so everybody knows, man, I'm looking for some AK-47. That's what I'd love to fucking bring back. Some beans from Sirius Seed Company out in... Ah, yeah, out in... What's up, Pia? Uh, they're from Amsterdam, you know what I mean? Sirius Seeds. And they're going to have a booth in, in Barcelona. Uh, Pia, it's going to be so exciting. Uh, I'm saying it's going to be something totally new, totally different. Everything you see us, how we're moving in this way here domestically, is going to fucking transform international, especially considering that in Spain, the official language is Spanish, and we do speak Espanol, 100%. Y vamos a traer esas buenas vibras. We're going to bring those good vibes. Oh, cool. Fucking A, dude. Look at, all, look, at, look at Dirty, man. Look at this guy. Thanks for tuning in, P. I'm glad it's had a better time for you. Uh, I'm learning about that time difference. I think you guys are, what, like 9, 10 hours ahead, something like this? Uh, so again, dude, our patrons are going to be the first ones to get the sticker packs outside of those that are going to be in uh, Spanibus. When I get back, I'll have time to mail them out real quick. Got some dope slaps in there, man. Some cool-ass business cards. Check out the GW Smoke Break TV link tree. It's updated. You guys can order beans right from the link tree. The link to the Discord is there as well. Again, I got to give a sh big shout-out to Miss Bay Glass, dude, out here in San Jose for fixing the walrus pendant, dude. Fucking A. Uh, the tusk was broken. He fucking did it last minute, man. I really appreciate it. And Firefly, Firefly Glass was an original homie who blew this glass right here, you know? So I can't wait to rock this, dude. Fucking just live it up, you know? So that that on the menu, let's live it up with some chronic. Smoke with you guys. Again, I'm coming from the cell phone right now. All the equipment, a lot of it's already packed up, you know? I was stressed and I was like, fuck, dude. How is it going to be on the computer with no audio? And I figured the cell phone would be better. And especially considering that I got an insurance swap because I dropped my phone a few times and uh, fucking had to, you know, get the new one because the reception was slacking outside of Wi-Fi. All right, let's fucking take it down. Fucking warming up, training for Spanibus, 100%. And we are working hard to get you that content by Friday. Dude, all the shit that we're bringing, dude, holy fuck, I do not believe it. All kinds of goodies. Cheers. For those of you that were not on Instagram, our fucking package made it, bro. Rolf doesn't even know yet. I don't think he's even seen the story. Maybe he has, but the special package that's got a quarter pound of herb made it to Spain, yo. So fucking beautiful. 
Salmon Creek Apples and Bananas grown by Ben, Benjamin Grant. We got Santa Cruz uh, Blue Dream. And we got Blue Garlic grown by Santa Cruz Goat Farms. Nasty indoor. And we got uh, two zips of Jealousy and one of Modified Grape from Mendo Family Farm, dude. So we got the Emerald Triangle in the house. We got Mendo, Humboldt in the house. We got Santa Cruz in the house. And Sticker Farmer Mendo hooked it up with some fucking twomp baggies. So like I said, man, I'm going to gram that shit out, dude. And I'm going to fucking give it away. You know what I'm saying? Fucking make a beautiful first impression on the people out in Spain. I uh, stayed up all night the other night to fucking package up 300 sticker packs. They're all ready to go. And uh, that QR code goes to the new and improved Linktree. So check out Linktree backslash GWSB TV. And you'll see some cool links to some beans you can get. You know, our Patreon channel, our website. Mm -hmm. Fucking 100%, dude. So again, let me sink this bowl and keep it moving for you guys. I'm amazed at the amount of water that I drink every day, mainly because I smoke so much. It's fucking hilarious. And uh, what's up, Aussie Canna? Yeah, dude. I love it here. The, our YouTube family, man. The GW family. Global. Fucking, uh, you guys feed me the energy that I need to know that we're doing a good job. And fucking, I can't wait to keep on uh, pushing what's possible in some ways in terms of the work that we're doing in Spain, you know? I want to interview new people. There's going to be some familiar faces. Shiloh Massive wants to interview out there, you know? We got Dragonfly Earth Medicine out there fucking showing love. For the love, bro, you're going to enjoy Spain. Plus, check out Old School Gen X for the original Spanish heirloom strains. He had a great cloud, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, right on. Yo, man. Remo? <laughs> great energy, bro. Right on. I appreciate that, man. Well, let me go ahead and sync this. I'm going to fucking share, you, share, share with you guys. I'm so excited you came to talk. I'm going to share with you guys the other strains that are on the table. So this is some Rebel Grown, Rebel Cookies. Um, we're bringing beans out. We're bringing a little bit of hash out. Bringing a fucking quarter pounder herb. It's already there, you know. Um, the beans... The beans are getting checked in, you know, should be all right. That's the word on the street. I ain't fucking scared. I don't care. I fucking, it's whatever, dude. I won't get fucking in trouble for that. I don't think so. I don't think nothing's going to happen. So again, dude, we got uh, Trinity or Unity Farms with a Z at the end. Check them out. They're on the West Coast. They got that slushy fucking insane Terp fucking production, dude. On when they fucking wash it. Insane, huge sand. Looks like sand in the bag, dude. That's going to be given away at Spanabis. Fucking going to score some of those. Want to interview Bobby himself. I believe that's his name. We're going to interview again. Shiloh Massive's the plan. We got homies from Spain, from the UK that want to get on camera. And it's cool because the community is connecting itself to one another, you know? Humble Fun Guy connected me to a dope-ass girl out there that I want to fucking meet up with and check out. And that Anthony Bourdain style is real, you know what I'm saying? When the vibe is real, you can just fucking sit down and puff down anywhere and just connect, you know? So, dude, CJ, what's happening? Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Tight. Tight, tight. Fuck yeah. Legit. That's so dope. That's awesome. That's the word on the street. Yo, man, let's see. What, what should I smoke on, dude? We got some Alpine Low Farms, some Guava Gift. We got in there from Humboldt. We got Humboldt County Chanterelle Hill Farm. Oh, the, I got to smoke some of this garlic, bro. It's some fire, dude. We got Humboldt County Alpen Glow. We got some Double OG Chem. What? We got some Humboldt County Lady Sativa Farm RS11. Did I not grab from the other counties? Oh, shit. And we got some Trinity. Here's some Trinity County Soul Spirit Farm. Some headband, dude. Let's go with some of that headband. Oh, it smells so good, dude. Fuck yeah. Again, I'm right here on the phone, guys. Rocking it from the phone. We plan on going live from Spain, you know, just for you guys. We're going to fucking go crazy on the content. And uh, this is the kind of herb that um, will change your life, man. Especially when it's grown by somebody who cares uh, for the land, you know, loves what they do, and produces that true fucking craft quality. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Al? Yeah, what's up, playa? And you gotta know, man, I'm rocking this motherfucking green walrus pendant by Firefly Glass, dude. Look at that shit, man. Super stoked. I don't know if I'd be able to afford something like this today. He did this like five, maybe seven years ago, I think is when it was. Uh, between those two times. And the homie Missabay Glass in San Jose fucking fixed it for me because of Tusk. 
fucking broke, dude. And he fucking repaired it, dude. Last minute. Thank you to the homie Jesse out in San Jose. You guys are going to see more and more connection from the Bay Area, specifically where I'm born and raised, San Jose, all the way up to the Emerald Triangle. And right now we're taking leaps and bounds to go to Spain and fucking do the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So, again, dude, let's go ahead and keep the party flowing. I'm going to have to wash this after the show because I'm taking it with me, dude. As you can see, it's got it's dirty and shit, so i got to wash that out. It's going to be all great. Yeah, I know this fool's name, right? Al? Al, play a play uh, So, no, guys. Um, it's real, it's real special. It's real magic that's happening. I really believe that this year, 2023, some, we're going to see huge developments happening, like hiccups and the bullshit coming to the surface. Is, is it a hiccup when it's premeditated? When raw fucking, you know, is exposed for lying and about what they do and all that shit, man, that's just bad, bad, bad representation for the goddess. You know what I'm saying? So... As much as the pressure's been down for craft and our culture, which again revolves around a four-letter word, you know, L-O-V-E, um, as much as that's been suppressed and the propagandists try to overcome that, I mean, we have hearts, we have feelings, we fucking, you know, operate as humans in that way. So it's a double-edged sword in that we can learn from the same moves what corporate America does, and that is they try to sell us shit, and they do that successfully, and a lot of times it's dishonest, and it's triggering your heartstrings, you know, to the point where we say, I love Nike, you know what I'm saying? I love Starbucks. So I want us to be like, I love Huckleberry Hill, you know? I love Clearwater Farms, you know? I love GW Smoke Break. He keeps it real, you know? When it comes to this cannabis shit, homie's on point. And that's what is going to come to the surface this year and the next, and it's going to mature into tourism, you know what I'm saying? And just like with hip-hop, like, everybody looks up to rappers and this and that, and I got no problem with that. I think it's an opportunity also to influence these cultures like we see expressions in music to have more of a positive vibe and a positive message, you know what I'm saying? Versus fucking a lot of the negativity that's been weaponized against us, a lot of shit that if you live out what's being rapped about, you'll end up in jail, you'll end up in trouble, you'll end up living a not-so-good life in many ways. So good vibes is the way, you know what I'm saying, 100%. And that's what we're going to keep on pushing. And that's the real vibe. That's the goddess. You know, that's Mother Nature. That's the feminine. And it's International Women's Day. You know what I'm saying? So remember that we all came from a woman. You know what I'm saying? And it's important that we take time, no matter um, whether you're a man or a woman, to fucking make, you know, um, not just today, but every day. You know, hold space for our woman. You know what I'm saying? Not just open the door for our woman and be polite for our women and look to protect our women. You know what I'm saying? But to also... Um, be the change that we want to see, you know, that when I was young in California, when I was in my 20s, and I'm still here in San Jose, there was a lot of misogyny, a lot of fucking calling women bad names and stuff, you know? What's up? Just another humble kid, yeah. And uh, the transformation that I'm seeing, that I'm experiencing is thanks to women, you know, primarily women like Ayana and Season. And uh, this, is, this is great energy, this is dope energy that I want to bring back into San Jose because... Um, the realities here, especially in the hood, it's fucking tough. You know, it's tough when you don't have the best role models or examples to follow when it comes to the four-letter word, L-O-V-E. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, it's crazy, dude. It's a trip. And I'm just so thankful that I get to fucking be like a messenger, you know? And if you want to trip on something, you know, a chasqui in Bolivian culture, C-H-A-S-Q-U-I, in the Incan uh, fucking kingdom... They were the messengers, you know what I'm saying? And they would carry kipus, which is Q-U-I-P-U-S. And there were knots at different intervals on the strings. Ha ha ha. And uh, I was fucking smoking on the plants all day. And as you'd run your finger down, it would deliver a message, you know? So for a long time, I would joke, you know, fucking I'm a chasqui. When I was a kid, I'd call my Bolivian family members chasquis. And it means messenger. And fucking lo and behold, I feel like a messenger, you know? And I feel like I can feel really good about myself. I can... Be really proud of my work because it is centered on that positivity. And in this case, more and more what's revealing itself is that feminine energy, man, that feminine vibe. We all have that duality, you know what I'm saying? An unbalanced man is a man that doesn't acknowledge his feminine at all, like can't empathize, fucking doesn't want to talk about his feelings, doesn't cry, you know, can't, you know what I'm saying? Like hard to be vulnerable and shit. Yeah, dude, it's gonna, it's wild in Spain right now. And that goes for no matter what sex you are, you can be like that. And 
what I mean is we've had a patriarchal society fucking for the past 2,000 years. And I'm realizing as a, as a dude that women are so fucking powerful, man. Like, we're, we're seeing some dope um, shifts. And, and maybe it's just me that's coming into the mix, you know? But uh, ladies throughout history and what men have done for women, I'm saying, like, women are way more powerful than they've been getting credit for. And women have been suppressed as a species, 100%, dude, historically. And the question is why? Why would you want to suppress something? Is it are you afraid of like the power or or the en- or you know the potential there? Uh, so the times are one hundred percent changing, and I believe it's part of the prophecy, man. And I could have never fucking understood ever if somebody were to told me like a time traveler twenty years ago that it was a plant that's gonna fucking continue to fucking move this shit forward, you know. So again, dude, everybody that's uh, on the chat, thank you for fucking saying what's up. Uh, yeah, thank you all, man. Thank you. Just another humble kid. I appreciate that, man. I need to know and get that positive feedback so that, uh, fucking, you know what I'm saying? It's just good affirmation. I appreciate that. So I'm going to sip some water and I'm going to fucking keep it moving. And we're going to, uh, just make you guys proud, man, in Spain. Fucking be smoking on hash, connecting with people that are going to be new to the table for some of us. And for some of us, we're going to be like, oh, dude, fucking the homies are out there from Cali. And it is a small world, dude. And I've been to Europe, to Amsterdam 20 years ago, 21, 22 years ago. Uh, my passport's actually red flag because I got caught two months after 9-11 with seeds in my jacket pocket, you know? And I actually had fucking hash in my underwear. So it's a good thing they did not strip search me, which is what I was threatened with. And that, I mean, I've shared that story before, but for those of you guys that haven't heard it, dude, it's fucking a good one. Two months after 9-11 at JFK airport, your boy is fucking acting a fool. Kev was like, dude, bring back some super like, super silver haze. That'd be dope. And I was like, okay, I think I can do that. 40 beans, man. And I guess that shit never gets taken away for whatever it's worth. I mean, they laugh about it now, you know? It's a true fucking story. I see Matt Kev in Barcelona on 420 tight, dude. Well, we won't be there for that, you know? But we are going to be there for Spanibus. And believe me, dude, we're going to leave our mark, man. We're going to fucking make sure we shake things up. And let the fucking corporate side of things. There's a lot of European companies. When you go to the Spanish website, you see the motherfuckers are coming from Austria and Germany and the UK and Canada. And you see what categories they're in and what kind of companies they are. It's like, oh shit, hold on a minute, dude. All these fucking uh, products that are built to fucking grow salty weed. I think those days are li- relatively numbered. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about, uh, hold on a sec here. What do we got? Oh, dog, it did touch down. It did touch down. It hella touched down. Quarter pound of herb touched down. A little bit of hash. A little bit of fucking shroom capsules for raw. It got delivered, man. I got the word like a little over an hour ago. I was worried too because it was held for like two and a half, almost three days at the airport. And I was like, fuck, dude. It, it got took. It got took. And the only thing that gave me hope was that the updates kept on coming. Like... You know, it was checked in, what, on the 6th or something, and at the airport. And then the next day, it's, like, still at the airport, but it got checked in again. So I'm like, fuck, okay, that's not bad news, I guess. So it made it, man. I'm so fucking happy. It cost me 150 bucks, you know, to fucking get it out there. And I'm glad that I did, dude, make that fucking, you know, made it happen like that. Or also, what if it just got there in time? And I think for it to get there that fast, I think it just moves... I think there's less opportunity for, like, opening that shit up and fucking with it, you know? And it wasn't terribly huge either. It was a, a pack that you could fit a hat in. It's what I use for my hats. So imagine a box that fits around this with four vacuum sealed ounces in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, fucking don't buy no more raw papers. Don't buy no, no more elements. Uh, the Club Modiano is what I recommend. Old school, man. Fucking patented. Back in, like, the late 1800s, dude. Fucking G-shit. That's what all the old school heads be smoking on. I bought three packs from Up in Smoke here in San Jose. And uh, I'm going to be proud just to fucking rep it and be a part of the, the the winning side of history, you know? And true love does conquer all. So when you're on that side, um, it's the best bet. And it, it doesn't mean cannabis. I mean, we're talking about cannabis now. It's what I chose to do for a living. But I'm saying... For you guys, like all of us, we got it's important for us to do what we love, whether it's your profession as best as you can, you know, on your off time. Like, life without love is fucking not the best. And I've been there. Trust me when I tell you I've been there, dude. When I moved out of my house, 
I was, I was fucking, I was repulsed. I was like, fucking love? What the fuck is love, dude? I mean, let's make some money, dude. Fuck love. Fuck that. Love don't make money, you know? I, I was a stranger, fucking stranger. Like, I understood it in a much different way than I do now. And again, if it wasn't for a woman in my life, I would still be fucking hardened in different ways, you know? And and a woman that comes from the cannabis space, you know, Ayana has taught me a lot, dude. And I got to give her credit for that, man. I have to. It's fucking proper. Um, in addition to, like, the dieting and, like, eating better, all that shit. So, I mean, like... When I was in my 20s, man, I know that I was in a different mindset, and I know that if I can give you guys a message before going to Spain, it's that this plan right here brings out the best in us, you know what I'm saying? And whether you're a man or a woman, we all have that duality, that feminine and masculine, and I grew up identifying myself as hyper-masculine, hyper-fucking-aggressive, hyper-fucking-don't-give-a-fuck, fucking angry from a young age, before I hit puberty, you know what I'm saying? I was, I grew up not, not, I didn't want to be a kid, I was just upset, fucking not happy, dude, not happy at all, and I never was able to talk about my feelings, it was just always fucking suppressed and held in and held in, and so now as an adult, I mean, I might be fucking 42 already, you know what I'm saying, it's fucking crazy, because I don't feel like I'm 42, I'm getting younger and shit, and I know, I don't need to feel ashamed about learning some things later on in life, versus like, dude, what the fuck's wrong with me, how come I couldn't learn these things when I was younger, you know, so... It all starts with, you know, loving ourselves and fucking making better decisions about what we feed ourselves, how we think, who we hang around with. And the sooner you do that, the sooner you're going to be able to manifest the reality that you truly want. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm saying this humbly as a homie. I'm saying this fucking from coming from like a knucklehead fucking place in life to where like there's no hope when you're fucking hustling on the street trying to fucking thug it out and go against the grain and hang out other fucking <laughs> thugs and shit, you know? Because in that environment, dude, it's like um, motherfuckers, uh, it's like swimming with sharks, man. It's dangerous, you know what I'm saying? It's just a matter of time. And in that environment, it's unfortunate, but they say keep your friends close, keep your enemies close, but your friends closer. And that's exactly the experience that I had, dude. Fucking terrible, you know what I'm saying? The sense of family. They, I mean, there's so much distortion no matter where we are in life. I mean, nobody's perfect. Nobody knows it all. I'm just sharing with you from my life experience that... You know, this plant really did save my life. You know what I'm saying? There was times where I thought it was going to, I took my, took my life. You know what I'm saying? Or fuck, it's fucking me up. My decisions with pot, going to jail, fucking getting shot 2016, almost dying. You know what I'm saying? But truly, I found my heart. I found who I am thanks to the plant. So if you want to hear a different kind of story about like somebody who's coming out saying like, dude, this plant saved my life. This plant has healed me. This plant is fucking, can do the same for you. I love this plant. Just like you love, you say you love your wife, your husband, your children, you know, fucking, you love your dog and your cat. Like, I love this plant this way. This plant has provided every, everything for me. You know what I'm saying? Literally, dude, everything, my entire adult life, I've been with this plant. It's almost like an emotional moment, you know? So I'm going to take that sacred fucking spay, that sacred intention, you know? And I'm going to take that to Spain, bro. And I'm going to fucking bring it to everybody. Because I, I can, you know, you guys know me enough to know that I, I can... um. I can talk to anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. And the goal is, is to make some of these um, homies know that fucking it's good to fucking, you know what I'm saying? Reflect a little bit and think about how we can be different from the past, from these cultures that are reflections of cannabis when cannabis was illegal. But truly, it's historic in that farmers have never been able to come out and share their vibe and their energy, you know what I'm saying? So right now, we're, I'm going to puff on some garlic rose from Chanterelle Hill Farms, and they're out in Humboldt County. So thank you for that, because I'm going to fucking took it down right now. It's going down the motherfucking hatch. And I love how you guys connect, you know what I'm saying, with one another. Appreciate that. And um, man, dude, it's a beautiful, beautiful fucking opportunity for us to start to think of the big picture and be like, yo, in a year from now, there's going to be dope experiences for me to share and participate in when I go to California. I mean, right now, we're limited to like the Emerald Cup, and tourism is just kicking off. But in 2024, 2025, it's the vibe is going to be so fucking high, so unstoppable. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you know, you know, when you go to the carnival and they have that fucking food that tastes good and I don't dig it anymore. Like, it's really greasy. It's like carnival food, man. Imagine like a same carnival vibe, but with that dank fucking food that's dank like your weed that you're smoking that you love so much. I mean, that's the future, dude. Transformative. So, OK, here we go. Jelena, tight, tight, tight. All right, this one's for you guys. I'm going to pull this motherfucker down. 
I'm going to hold it in. And uh, I just can't believe I'm going to Spain, man. I can't fucking believe it. Holy fuck. You guys let me know anything you want, want us to do, any ideas for production. Just fucking type it up, man. It's all good, man. We're a fucking gang now, you know what I'm saying? The GW gang fucking going worldwide, yo. Oh, yeah. Masters of Rosin. Okay, I feel that. <coughs> okay, connect with third gen family. <coughs> Trike Tyson himself. And Dragonfly Earth Medicine. <coughs> when we get there, I'm going to go straight to the hotel. I'll be like, Rolf, don't trip. That baia can wait, dog. You got to get that package. <coughs> and then... I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to fucking break everything out, I'm going to fucking document, I'm going to share that moment with you guys, the fucking opening of the package, cutting open those zips, fucking stinking up the room, it reminds me of when I mailed shit to Miami, literally about, no, this was 2007, so fucking what, 15 years ago, 16 years ago, and uh, I, stuffed the, I stuffed the herb inside of an animal, uh, stuffed animal made it real fucking sly, and then... Uh, we're gonna fuck, I'm gonna fuck, probably hop in the shower real quick. Uh, no, smoke first, hop in the shower real quick, and head out, dude, straight to the fucking spot, which is on 3rd Gen Family Farms page on Instagram, and that's where everybody's gonna be hanging. And, uh, dude, we're gonna connect with not just the fellas, but the ladies as well, and, uh, the idea is to sleep when we get back, you know what I'm saying? The idea is to fucking push ourselves to really make the most out of this, because, yeah, we really can't sleep when we get back, dude. That's the way we're going to really capture the whole experience for you guys. And, um, you know, keeping everything chill at the same time, or I'm saying smart, because I'm uh, I'm pretty street smart, I can say. And I know how to carry myself. And so uh, the idea is not to go into the questionable parts late at night and cause a fucking commotion, but it's to fucking just have a good time, do it 24-7, and not expect any fucking kind of problems, because we're literally going to be surrounded by the European global cannabis community fucking as like each spot comes alive different venues every night fucking 24 7 at spanibus itself i already scouted it out online and there's some serious seed companies it's a funny right but serious seed company let me finish this bull is who uh who made the fucking ak-47 bred that motherfucker back in like 91 93 something like this legendary strain and that's definitely a, a pack of beans that i want to get but i'm saying like part of my goals i want to get the breeders yo I want to connect with the motherfucking breeders and connect fucking real tough so you guys are like, oh shit, man, I can make better decisions now because I can really trust these brands because, you know what I'm saying, I can feel, you know, their fucking love for the game. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. And again, the only thing that I'll say about that fucking, well, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about that. Let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, Ripper Seeds will be there tight. Thank you for that, Smoke Steve. Just know the humble kid. Hell yeah, Thunder Fudge Genetics. OG Chem, Golden Retriever. That sounds dank, man. Um, I'm going to pack something else up. That was some Garlic Rose. I'm going to check the time as well. And again, dude, I've been planning for this for like the past week in terms of like packing, being organized, or else I'd be doing shit last minute. I definitely want to have time for a live. I'll let you know that I'm doing this live. Because it's part of my way of, like, fucking giving myself time to chill. Or I'm saying, like, it's a gift to myself. Or it's, like, a celebration, you know? It's, like, something I can do to fucking acknowledge, like, yeah, dude, you did a good job. You're ahead of the game. And when I co go to work, that's exactly how you need to do things with your grow, too. You know what I'm saying? So remember, if you're growing, be ahead of the game. And you'll fucking have some dank, dank weed, too. 100% every time. I really appreciate you guys coming on. I was there in 2020, but the event was canceled and we were sent home due to COVID. Wow, dog. Fuck, I'd be traumatized, man. I, if I was on my way, oh, shit. You know, damn, sorry to hear that, brother. But, you know, you, you're here now. You're fucking safe and sound. You know, a lot of people didn't make it through the whole COVID epidemic. And just so you guys know, I never got stuck with that needle. Never, ever, ever. 
And I don't want to get, I don't mean to like, I'm just sharing with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, however you feel about COVID and the fucking, the fucking shot, it's cool, you know what I mean? I'm saying for me, I didn't get it and I'm thankful that I did it. You know, 100%. That's so all, so all I'm going to say. And uh, I'm glad, thank you for being on, you know? Uh, for you guys that are watching, you can pick up some Santa Cruz Genetics, Arcata Trainer at Crosses. Check out the link tree slash GWSBTV. Any questions you have, you can email me at GWSmokeRickTV at gmail.com. Check out the Discord. The link's there as well. <clears throat> and we got Black Lime Crosses from Brandon Rust. And uh, those beans uh, are going to be on the way too. You know what I'm saying? With some beans from Jackson. Uh, mean Gene. You know, I got a pack of that. I got a pack of some fucking... Um, some hash dumping fucking beans from I think it's like Little Lake, Little Lake Valley or Little Valley, something like this. But no, man, I just want to say that, uh, fuck, enough talking, let's smoke some more. That's what I want to say. So let's see, what do we got here? We got Alpenglow, that, the headband. That's what I want to smoke on. Or I think I did smoke on that headband, yo. I did. So what I was smoking on was headband. It wasn't the garlic rose. This is a little heavier. This is some dank right here. Check that fucking beauty out right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, I miss you. I'm going to miss you, Garlic Rose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at this beautiful package. Packaging from Soulful, California. Soulful Frisco. The bottom. The top. You know? And if you want to hear a true story... Uh, Chanterelle Hill Farms. Chanterelle Hill Farms in Humboldt County. Like, I never listened to love music, but once I started falling in love with weed after growing it, um, I started listening to love music, and I would think of weed. It's a true fucking story. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She wants you to smoke her too, dude. 100%. This is a GMO cross, <clears throat> hence the garlic. And uh, it's got, got kick for sure. See if I fucking cough it up. See what's up. That's the worst, isn't it? When you cough up the hit. So again, guys, I just want to say that we're working hard to get these edits out by Friday. Uh, the episodes from Jerry Seat Swap and from... Haha, <laughs> what's up, baby King? Yeah. And what you call it? Uh, Sticker Farmer. And for Sticker Farmer, we got uh, Dr. Phil, Mendo Family Farms on the menu. And we got Patrick King. With uh, Jerry Seed Swap. And uh, myself included, we're gonna be working on the plane, dude, going there. And I don't mind, I think it's dope. I bought some earbuds uh, so I can fucking listen to the audio bed while I think of the B roll and hand it off to Rolf or John, depending on how, how Rolf wants to do it. Oh, it smells so good, dude! Holy shit! Smell it, smell it, guys. Smell it. Yeah, dude, can you smell it? Can you smell it? Oh, it smells so fucking good. Hold on. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, fuck yeah, man. Normally on a trip like this, I'm rushing. I'm fucking tripping. Don't have time to do shit. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, man. It smells sweet. It smells garlic. It smells fucking GMO-y sweet. Ooh, it smells so nice. So, uh, dude, work in there. I got to bring a book. I, don't, I shouldn't forget to bring a book. To read that's gonna be a long trip but uh doing some editing on the way there is gonna be cool uh man it's a whole new life for me man I, f I feel like a whole new motherfucking person i mean look at the content when we first started and you'll see the transformation man and it wouldn't be without the community that i'm proudly a part of that i wouldn't be who i am i wouldn't be who i am today if it wasn't for the cannabis community if it wasn't for the plant that's the fucking truth you know and that's a beautiful thing i mean uh alcohol culture as an example in a lot of ways, it's an unhealthy culture, you know? A lot of things that are promoted, the vibe, just the fact that you drink too much, like, it's just terrible, dude. It's just uh, not not very nice. But weed culture has the potential to transform you, man, and connect you with people that, like, you can vibe with and connect with, and fucking you never know what could happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, I met a young, you know, and it's fucking wild, you know what I'm saying? It's been it's just, like, such an amazing, amazing experience, so... Again, in some ways I'm all over the place, but it all boils down to one thing. This plant, you know, is grown with love. You know what I'm saying? Our moms birthed us, you know, with love. You know what I'm saying? 
And most of us had the privilege of being raised by our mothers, you know what I'm saying, or by a woman. And it's different than being raised by a man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, my dad was way more strict, way more, like, fucking firm. And, you know, like a lot of dads are, you know what I'm saying? Whereas moms are totally what we need to fucking make sure we turn out to be good, good, fucking healthy people, you know? So it's not always the case, but ultimately, you know, why am I bringing this up is because, again, the plant, the energy that what we're smoking is a feminine part of the plant, and it is International Women's Day, you know? So if there's a lady out there that in the industry or, you know, just in general in your own personal life, it's cool to, to have that as a, hey, it's International Women's Day, you know? I want to show you some love. This is why I admire you. This is why I look up to you and, and vice, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it, go, paying somebody a compliment goes a long way, you know what I mean? Um, listening to what somebody has to say goes a long way. I'll give you some free game for your conversations, you know, people will appreciate it because it's hard. I used to do the same thing and I, I've trained myself to listen, you know, in my interviews, you know, like I try not to interrupt, you know, and if you want to have a good conversation and, or you want to talk to somebody, listen, try listening, like, and, and, and not, and wait until they're done and see how much the person you're talking to appreciates that and see how much better of a conversation you'll have as a result, you know, that's my secret, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the GW secret, and that's the difference that you'll see uh, for my this platform that I share with Rolf and John and others that are out there. I love what I see out there. I love what a lot of guys and gals are doing. I'm saying in terms of like the energy that I bring is real respectful, man, real genuine. You know, and when, I, when you listen, you can ask a question that's fucking intelligent. It's smart. It, sh it shows the person that... Dude, this person really was paying attention to what I was saying. That feels good. It's exactly what I needed right now. And why am I saying all this? Because when I started in the game, man, I was suffering from disconnection. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to make money. I couldn't care. I could care less about connection. I thought I had it figured out, but I was I was miserable in so many ways. And to be connected, I think it's like if you're battling depression and you know things like that, which I've been there. Like being connected to people is so the medicine, dude. It's so the way. To find yourself and to like grow you know without that it's really hard and in many ways I'll just confess that I grew up that way you know what I'm saying without having that and it's not it's not my parents fault you know what I'm saying they asked me many times you know what's wrong or you know let's talk about it and I just for one reason or another is always like zip it you know just always zip 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 um so you know again we're here to learn from one another this plan is uh here for us to enjoy and learn from as well and I'm going to keep it moving and smoke some more of this herb. This garlic rose is fire, dude. Chanterelle Hill Farms in Humboldt County. And uh, literally after this live, I think uh, the only thing i got to do is carry my suitcase downstairs, my backpack as well, do a last double check. Should get a bite to eat. My homie's going to get here. I'm going to fucking smoke with him real quick and then head out to Rolf's, you know? So this is literally one of the last things I'm doing before going to Spain. You know what I'm saying? Let that be for the record. And when I get back, it's going to be Tuesday. So the very next day, we're going to go live at 7 p.m. You know what I'm saying? So you guys are getting me right before going to Spain. And you're going to get me the day after, like literally about 24 hours, a little bit more, about 28 hours after touching down from Spain. I'm going to go live again, you know? So let's pull this down. Hope you guys are smoking good. And I uh, really appreciate you guys' presence too. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking, it means a lot. And it lets me know that... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Again, it's fucking all, all good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, dude. Hey, Big King, hell yeah. Got 300 sticker packs waiting. We're going to be giving out herb to the masses, man, from Humboldt County, from Mendo. Fucking bomb-ass herb. Some fire indoor out of Santa Cruz. That Santa Cruz blue dream, like the real deal. Ah, ah. And the blue garlic, which is the blue dream cross. And yeah, dude, let me let me take a sip of water. Let me, let me fucking flex on this bone game. How about that? So, fucking A. See how it goes. And the cool thing is, <clears throat> I mean, 12 hours is 12 hours. But we have a 12-hour layover in London on the way back. So maybe we'll be able to fucking, like, film some shit or, or broadcast some shit from the airport in London, too. You know, we'll see what's up. I know Roth is being proactive. You know, he's really excited about that. But shit, what time is it, dude? Fuck, it's 3.15. Okay, I'm going to have to ca call this a wrap pretty soon. Woo, because I got about half an hour before my homie gets here. 
All right. So I want to make sure I covered it all. Again, dude, thank you for checking out our Patreon channel. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for checking out the GW, GWSB.TV website. And when you go to the link tree, there's links right there to pick up beans from Santa Cruz Goat Farms. I mean, these are great genetics. He's a fucking awesome breeder. He's so hardcore. It's been hard to even get him, like, on an interview, you know? And I really put my name behind the quality of the, his work, 100%. Same thing with Brandon Russ. Black Lime Crosses are available. You can also get them off the website. It's like you're getting a painting. Um, you can check that out for sure. Any questions, let me know. And it's all free shipping, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I mean, it's hard to say your satisfaction is guaranteed, but, like, in an informal way, I would say that, dude, you're, like, I would fucking pop these motherfuckers. I, I kind of want to, like, that Super Kosher Express, 100%, dude. And the two homies that have ordered beans uh, recently, like, I know they're going to be happy, you know what I'm saying? What do we got here? What do we got? 65 minutes and counting, 420. Fuck, dude. Yeah, man. That's going to have to happen. No, I can't go live on 420. Yeah, I got to fucking cut it out. I'm going to cut out in just a little bit, guys. Woo! Uh, just trying try to make sure I've covered it all today, everything I want to share with you. And that, like, you also have the power. You have the power, you know, to transform your life. 100%, dude. You know? Um, and it all starts right here with the way you think, the way we talk to one another. And, uh, you know, when it comes to... <laughs> Fucking A, dude. Yo, man, I'm gonna be at the airport, dude. I don't think we can leave there. I don't want to leave the airport, man. Some fucked up shit will happen. I'll miss my plane fight, you know. But uh, you know, anything is possible in this lifetime, dude. Take it from me. Take it from me, dude. Hundred percent. Whatever it is you want to do in this life, it's possible if you if you fucking try. You stay consistent. Put some love into it. It's possible, dude. So okay, cool. Smoke some of this herb, and then it's off to Spain, man. <sighs> fucking a. I don't believe it, guys. Love you guys, dude. It's so fucking cool. It's so special. We're going to rock this together. GW gang, man. For real. I'll let Ali Ayana hold down the mafia part. You know, the shot back mafia. I can be the fucking green. We can be the green walrus gang. You know what I'm saying? 100%, dude. You can find us on every continent. You can find us around the world. You know, you never know what we're smoking on. You never know what we're thinking next. You never know who we're fucking following, what we're learning, what we're growing. Because holy shit, dude, this is the craft community, man, coming alive over here, dude. And we're just fucking one cog in the wheel doing our part, you know? Cool. All right. Yeah, if you want, I mean, can you come to the airport for a little bit? It'd be kind of tough, man, but I appreciate that, though, man. It means a lot for the love, for real. All right, well, let me, let me fucking do it proper. Let me do this proper and really sink this down. You know when the weed gets stuck on the sides of the bowl, that annoying shit? All right, here we go. Actually, I got to clean this and put it in the suitcase. So, yep. Yeah, guys, thank you for fucking being here. This is fucking making history, dude. <laughs> this year in general, the industry in general, for GW, our growth as a platform. With your support, man, I know that we can go anywhere and do anything. You know what I'm saying? So, again, thank you for telling your homies. Thank you for fucking having them follow the uh, YouTube channel. It's definitely been going up. Definitely been going up. I've been seeing that. And to all our Patreons, you get your sticker packs when I get back. And thank you for your support, like, in that way as well, for considering... Uh, you know, it's five bucks a month or ten bucks a month on Patreon. We have like eight or nine hats left. The camo GW hats available for the ten dollar tier. After six months, you get one mailed out free. And uh, shit, any merchandise is uh, definitely available on the website. And definitely, I'm gonna try to. I'm um, not gonna try. I'm gonna fucking plot on and mastermind some new merch, some dope shit, a big ass walrus logo. You know what I'm saying? Some dank ass shit for some pre order action as well. So again, guys, fucking one hundred percent. It's not going to be too many days until you hear from us again, dude. Actually, like, I'm, I'm probably going to go live when we get there, too. Fuck it, you know? So, see you soon, dude. It's going to be in, like, London or Spain. 100%. Spain. It's going to be in Spain. All right, dude. And that's going to be tomorrow uh, afternoon. You know what I mean? So, fucking nails. See you guys tomorrow, dude. One love. One love.